here. Let's talk about building UIs for Ethereum 2.0. Briefly, my name is Mark. This is my dog helping me pack for this trip. And most recently, I have been working on a project called Ethereum Grid. Grid is a desktop application. It uh, helps you discover, download, configure, and run various uh, Ethereum clients and tools. In this example thing, we've got a uh, geth running here, a couple of clicks to configure it, and a click to start it. In the case of a client, you can see some syncing status up there. And we further extended the platform to include grid apps so that you can uh, use some curated uh, interfaces to, to get more insight into these tools. So here, we've got a simple RPC tester that you can uh, hit your actual client with RPC commands and see what the results are. So uh, my thesis here today is that Grid is a powerful platform for developer onboarding and tooling and, and uh, education. And uh, there's no reason that we can't add Ethereum 2.0 clients into this mix. So there's a few uh, unique uh, user experience challenges that we need to consider uh, when ad adding these platforms, or adding these uh, clients to our platform. Uh, the first, of course, is onboarding and education. Uh, users now have a, a new batch of questions that they are going to be asking. That is, uh, what is staking? What is proof of stake? How do I do it? Uh, how do I get paid? What happens if I'm penalized, etc. Uh, today, uh, well, in this feature we're envisioning, staking comes in one flavor, and that is 32 Ether. So a, there's no reason a, a UI can't uh, properly scale this, this experience if you uh, so have the funds to do so. Uh, Ethereum 2.0 clients have broken into uh, two binaries. So you have a beacon node and a validator client. Uh, a UI can help um, users mix and match these, these, pieces, these, uh, these pieces. You can turn one off, turn on the other while using uh, the same validator client. And we'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, so we're very much in the prototype stage uh, within the grid platform, but here's a look at uh, some of our ideas so far. Uh, as you've seen in the, the get example, any plugins, as we call them, can be turned on with the toggle of a switch. Um, here we've got a validator that represents uh, a, cl a cluster. Uh, and that just lives uh, right in your operating system, essentially. Grid lives in your toolbar there. And if uh, uh, your beacon node, for example, has some uh, instability, uh, it's as easy as a couple clicks to switch to another one. And uh, the real takeaway here is that uh, the developer does not have to install an entire new developer environment to switch over from one client to another or run, a, a, uh, run through a whole new batch of documentation and uh, get those images set up. Uh, so these are some early ideas, some, some takeaways. Uh, we don't have a relationship yet with all the, the 2.0 client teams. If you're representing any of those teams here today, we would love to talk to you and get sort of your wish list for what a uh, UI could look like. Um, otherwise, try out Grid and uh, come say hello. I've got stickers and magnets to hand out and shill. Thanks very much.